piece we will be looking at today is called the Code of Hammurabi. The Code of Hammurabi was a set of strict rules and laws enacted by the Babylonian king Hammurabi. The stele, of course, also shows the sun god Simash being represented in a prologue at the top of the piece. The piece itself is made out of a stunning basalt and stands at a proud seven feet tall. The god on top is carved in a very intricate manner, very delicately to get perfect details. The Code of Hammurabi was emphasized by the presence of the god Samash you could see at the top of the stele. His stance exemplifies the importance of this god. Samash was a god of the sun, and his use of being at the tip of the stele was that it gave the impression of the laws being god-given. Along with the god Samash, other gods were also said to be given the laws to King Hammurabi, god Anu and Anil. Isn't that interesting? Of course, it also gives the impression that they would be punished by the gods if the laws were broken. There were as many as 300 laws that were put into play as guidelines for the subjects in Hammurabi's kingdom. Some of these laws included divorce, murder, and death. They also created the phrase, eye for an eye. Historians relate the code of Hammurabi to the statue of voyative figures because they both are representative of the importance of paying tribute to the gods in their culture. That's so cool. I never knew that. If you look at it, you'll notice that the writing is actually hard to decipher, which would make it hard to use as a tool to look up the law. This leads historians to believe that it was actually a commemoration to King Hammurabi. The stele also states that kings in the future should look to Hammurabi's stele as a precedent and maintain the laws that were engraved, and if they were not enforced, it would be punishable by the god Anu. The laws on the actual stele included punishment for hitting elites, adultery, and false accusations. The laws on the stele were in play until his palace was looted and it was lost. It was rediscovered in 1901, but by then other laws and regulations were put into play and then Code of Hammurabi laws are not used anymore. <laughs>